Hey everybody, welcome to a new series. Uh, in light of what I've been doing with the Tyranid, I'm going to take a shot at none of my favorite armies, Sisters of Battle. This is going to be a very, very brief overview of how I kick people's ass with Sisters. Now, there's not a lot of Sisters of Battle player out there, and quite honestly, that's to your advantage. The less players there are out there, the less players that know how to beat you. Which means, surprise, they don't know your rules, they don't know your tactics, they don't know anything about you. They just have their little small-minded view of what they think you are, and that's going to be that you suck. Which just makes beating them that much sweeter. Now, first thing you got to correct when you play a Sisters of Battle army is you got to understand how to play them. They're not Space Marines, which is a good thing. When you play Sisters of Battle, you should instead be thinking Tau or Orcs. That's definitely what they are. Um, if you think about them as Tau, you think these are basically Tau that can hold their ground in hand-to-hand -hand combat if they happen to be assaulted better than Tau. And secondly, uh, their Tau with um, three plus armor. Fire warriors, I should say, with three plus armor. Think about them this way and you'll have a far more accurate view of the sisters. From the standpoint of orcs, um, think about them as they have a lot of powers that you're going to have to roll to get them to work. So sometimes you will have just an absolutely phenomenal game. I mean, just wow. <laughs> the emperor is with you today. And sometimes, yeah, just go home. Uh, you nev nothing's going to work. Everything's going to blow up and go wrong. And if you can accept that, then you can play sisters. It is a mix of these two things. Now, the next thing to know about sisters is you need to take priests. If you look at the codex, you're going to see that there's a section there called Priest Enclave or something like that. I forget. But it allows you to take five priests per detachment, 25 points each. If you're going between 1,500 to 2,000 points, you're going to need all five. You will need one for each one of your units, unless you're taking uh, Uriah of Jacob, and that'll give you six priests. You'll need them. Because most people think about sisters, they think about uh, acts of faith. Yes and no. They're good. Acts of faith are more like the coup de grace. They're the final blow to kill a unit that needs to get killed. The real thing you should be thinking about is battle hymns. Look them up. I'm going to do another video on them, but battle hymns. Battle hymns are what replaces psychers in a Sisters of Battle army. Use them. And basically, uh, the priests are the psychers. And you can essentially put a level 3 psyker, almost, in every single one. Well, five of them. So if you, if you have five units, then you can put one in five units, or six if you have Uriah. Um, this is what you're going to depend on. This is the meat of your army. Uh, the, the, the acts of faith are, are the icing on the cake. Uh, the other thing you're going to need in every single one of your uh, Battle Sisters armies, and, and anywhere you can get them, is uh, Simulacrum Imperialis. They're 10 points, you put them on a model, they allow you to use your acts of faith twice instead of once. Very important. Other than that, you're going to need preferably, oh, fortifications. Another thing that is a foregone conclusion for any Sisters of Battle army is a fortress of redemption. Fully maxed out extra bolters, crack missiles, you get, you name it, give it to it. Um, 
Because, think about this, every story you hear about sisters, every picture you see about sisters almost, what are they doing? They're in some fortress firing down on people, laying waste to them. There's a reason for this. Sisters of battles are defenders. They're defenders. I think they're probably the best static defense army in the game. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people are going to disagree with that, but most people want to run across the table and blah, 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 blah. Sisters are about staying place, making people come to you, and you just murdering them as they try to. Uh, the, the Fortress of Redemption it almost sounds like it was named for them, and pretty much I like to think it was. <clears throat> so what you're going to be doing is you're going to be sitting back. Now, when you have something as big as a Fortress Redemption in a quarters game, that's already taking up two quarters. They really are. When you place it down, because remember, uh, fortifications are placed before terrain. Use that to your advantage. You're going to be placing your fort, preferably to cover two quarters on your half, uh, which you will defend. And then you're going to place other terrain strategically, and then you're going to hold it. You're going to make people come to you. And you're going to find out that when played correctly, sisters are incredibly difficult to kill, much less to wipe out. Uh, next, you're going to need to know is, if you can, always get maximum unit size of Battle Sisters. You're not going to need too many, probably two, but they come in units of 20. That's 20 Battle Sisters with a simulacrum and palace with a uh, ecclesiarchal priest. I'll go into the details later when I go into the units. Next, you're going to take uh, the, the ones that really take other corners, if you want to move to other sides of the table, are going to be your seraphim. That's, that's your shock troops. That's the ones, and again, full units uh, of ten. They're going to be the one uh, jumping over to the other side of the table, coming in there with that. Uh, treat them as really as a form of, of crisis suit. If you, if you want to think about it from a Tau standpoint, that's how you should be using them. They shouldn't be engaging in hand-to-hand. -hand. They should be going on your standard hit and run, into cover, out of cover, shooting, jumping back, fun stuff like that. That's what they do. They can't really take corners, obviously, uh, but they can contest them. And if you hold your two corners and make the other ones contested, you win. <clears throat> Let's see. That's a, that. Oh, and the last thing, the Holy Trinity. That, that they actually call it that in, in multiple times in several of the codexes too. The Holy Trinity is the three weapons that all sisters units should be taking, and that is the Bolter. Obviously, they're going to get that. Uh, the Flamer, and the Melta. <clears throat> Each unit should have uh, those three weapons in it, and I will explain why in other videos, but basically that will allow you to be set up for any, any, any army you, you'll end up facing in the game, for obvious reasons. <clears throat> Let me think. Other than that, this is a pretty good overview of the beginning tactics that you need to know about them. Uh, if you get the Codex, the new one that came out for 6th edition, I'll be going over the strategies that you'll be able to use with it. But like I said, first thing you got to think, think Tau or think Orcs with rolling and also think Defense. They are static defenders. That's how you're going to play them. That's how you're going to win. And I will start a whole series on this. I hope you enjoy it. I am still going to keep working on 6th edition Tyranids too, so keep watching those, and I will talk to you next time.